I'm here today to find out if my daughter Nanika and my boyfriend have possibly slept together. For the last couple years, I've just noticed things between them. My daughter, you know, she's a very beautiful girl. She has a very nice body. She would dress very pro provocative and she would come, you know, in the house like that when it's only me and him there. And I, you know, I've asked her multiple times not to do that with her, you know, nipple piercings and her white tank tops and, you know, and she continues to do so. I've found scratches on his back and I found my daughter's nails in my bed. Her press on nails were broken in my bed. Another day, her panties were on the side of my bed. Another day, and we've been looking for his belt for a long time and it was underneath our bed. It's killing me, I can't even take a shower without thinking something's going on. I can't go leave them alone. I just, I'm always bothering them and it, like harassing them basically because I feel like all this evidence, like it has to be happening. Wayne and I have been together for seven years. For some reason, when we're at work, because we work together, he like, shows me more affection than he does at home. I feel like at home, like somebody's watching all the time and then he's acting like a different person. A couple days ago, I put a recording in the bedroom across from the bathroom and um, like you can hear a lot of scuffling and you can hear like noises, like be trying to be held back, but like, they would be trying to be quiet because I'm in the other room. So, you know, I told Nautica and Wayne, let's sit down and let's listen to this tape all together. And, you know, you guys tell me that you don't hear what I hear. And they they ref they don't want to. They, I feel like if I was innocent, I'd definitely be listening to it and explaining what that noise was. Well, after I played the recording for a coworker and my coworker vouched that, you know, he heard the exact same thing that I did, I come home from work and I went straight in her room and I told her I wanted her out in the morning. I was so mad and I pushed her, she pushed me back. We got into a little tussle in the hallway and then come to find out afterwards, she tells me that she was trying to push me down the stairs. <laughs> That's my baby. Like, there's certain lines that you just never cross in life, in life, period, and that's one of them. If it's true, it's gonna kill me. Like, literally, it's gonna, oh, it's, like, my soul is gonna be dead. If Wayne is sleeping with my daughter, then I'm definitely done with him. I love my daughter unconditionally. Things are definitely gonna be different, and they would never be the same, but I'll always love my daughter. <laughs> If she fails, I mean, my whole life is going to be messed up. Nautica, your mother believes that you are sleeping with her boyfriend. She's crazy. <laughs> She's insane. I look at him like a father figure to me. I would never do that. I wouldn't even feel comfortable doing that. That's weird. Yeah, because he's uh, been kind of raising you since you've been six years old, right? Mm-hmm. So you look at him as a dad, right? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's, do you find it disgusting that your mom... I found would... it disturbing, actually. It's, it's really put a toll on our relationship, on all three of us. So you and your mom, you get into a physical fist fight over, over this. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Okay, so she came home from work one night. It was probably like... 2 a.m. in the morning. Mind you, I'm in the bed sleep next to my man. And she comes in my room. She's screaming on the top of her lungs. I know what you did. Um, you got to get out of my house by Sunday. And then she leaves the room. She slams the door. So I get out of the bed, and I'm trying to figure out what she's talking about. So I come into the, um, to the hallway, and... She's like, I got a recording. She pulls out her phone with a recording and she's like playing it. She's like, I got a recording of you guys in the kids room. And, um, and then she pushes me. And then in my head, I just kind of like blacked out a little bit and I just started swinging. Well, yeah. Did you connect? Yes. <laughs> it did connect. Um, I, I've always told myself I would never put my hands on my mom. I respect my mom, but it's just, that day, she pushed me to that point. Your mom said she found your panties and your nails. Okay, listen. And their bed. Her room is literally the laundry room. 
Like, her room is in the basement, and the washer and dryer is in her room. Could have been the kids probably messing with the laundry or something. I don't know. No, she said she found Wayne's belt underneath your bed. I, when I was employed, I did not have a belt, so I asked Wayne to use his belt. He allowed me, it was just like a plain back black belt. Right. He allowed me to wear it, so I guess she just found it in my room and assumed that we was doing something. Girl, you did not connect, because I would have whooped your ass. <laughs> you know better, don't. Mm -mm. And I was like, you know, I don't want to think that about you, but I mean, your panties are next to my bed. He's got scratches on his back. Later that night, I go to get in my bed. Your nail's sitting there. But I'm your daughter. Like, why would you think that? Like, I, I mean, that's why you I still live there because you, I don't 100% believe it, but I can't ignore what's what I. But I your daughter, though, face. I would never do that. It's, I would never do that to you, mom. This like, day and real. age, you don't know what anybody will do. That's them. This is me, your daughter. Do you really believe that your daughter is sleeping with your man? Looking at my daughter and stuff, I want to say no. But I can't ignore the fact that, you know, her panties are next to my bed. The yeah, only, but you, only you're time sleeping that... in the laundry room. But then on a separate day, you know, he's got scratches on his back. You know, I'm going Did off you ask on... him about the scratches? Yeah, he don't know where they came from. So then I go to get in bed that night, and her press-on nail is in my bed. Well, you never even showed me the press-on nails. You never even know, showed me, like... I showed Wayne. And I don't even wear press-on nails like that. Like, it what? was those pink and white ones that you did put well, on. Uh, yes. Listen, listen. If you get to the point where you think that your man is sleeping with your daughter, aren't you kind of in the wrong relationship? Yeah. What's this recording that you made? You recorded on what? Uh, my phone. Your phone. Your but she doesn't know because she would never listen to it. I tried to get them both to sit down and listen to it with hear? me, and they wouldn't. Um, like scuffling. Nobody's supposed to be in the room, period. You know what Down I mean? in the basement. Uh, no, upstairs, upstairs, across from her room. And, like, nobody's, he's not even supposed to be back from taking the kids to school. And you can hear him upstairs coughing and stuff. And that you know led I mean? you to believe that they're having sex? No, it's like all these different occasions on different days. That, the other day, his car was broke okay, down. Okay, but wait, stop, stop, stop. Mm. Because the audio recording to me is like the goofiest thing. Because we, we get it a lot on the show where mm. the person tapes the other person. And in all the times that somebody's brought it to the show, we've never once were like, it was sex. It's always like a TV in the background or a door slamming or some And they're like, oh, they must be having sex. Like, w with all the technology today, cameras and everything else, why use an audio recording? Why don't you put a hidden camera in there? I had cameras. You got your daughter living with you. You push her. And she's lived with me her entire life. Why'd she moved with her? her dad for like a year and a half. Why'd you push her? Um, I said you took her in. Because I kept telling her to get out of my face. Oh, she was in your face. Yeah. And but I'll... you woke her up at 2 in the morning, right? Yes. You went into her bedroom and you woke her up and said, you're out by I Sunday. I didn't scream. My grandson was sitting right there asleep. So, oh, I you said, woke her up and said, oh, you're I told her, you're, you better be out of you here by morning. morning. Yeah. I said, you better be out, out here out by, by morning. morning. Well, why didn't you just wait till the next day to tell her? Why you wake her up Because I was night? heated. I was mad. I what was did upset. you discover at 2 in the morning that you had to wake her up and tell her? This? I, that was the first time I got back to the house and could address the issue. But, like, I honestly do believe that she wouldn't do that. But, like I said, I'm going off all day long about these scratches on his back that he don't know where they come from. Do Later think, that night, I go to get in my bed and the nails Do you think cheating with somebody? Uh, probably, yeah. Other than you. I mean, other than her. Uh, I really don't think he's cheating with her. If right, he, but you maybe he's cheating with somebody else. I've known Wayne. I don't know. I've known what Wayne. the hell are you here for? You don't know nothing. She brought me. I couldn't deny her. Heard that we are not sleeping together. It's, it's not like, happening. Like, this is getting crazy. You, I, I just want you to see how embarrassing and stupid this is. We, we have to come here to do this. I did not call this show. This. I did not want to. I said I, know, I would pay for a lie detector test. The simple test. fact she that here. there's a chance that we have to come here and do this is, is, is so stupid. I mean, this is embarrassing. I, mean, it's be I would never do. Me. I would never do anything. She is like a kid still. Even though she's grown, she's still a kid to me. She should be. Well, she is. And I'm I can't like nobody daughter. tell you he's that, He's like though. my stepdad. Right. So, like, here he's raised her. He is a father figure to her. He's in the house, taking her to school, doing things that a dad would do. And then you accuse him, oh, you're sleeping with her. 
No, I've never said that they're sleeping together. I say, what the way I I've never said like, that you were sleeping with her. I've said if you're. Oh, why are you lying? So I have said it, if you're not sleeping, or like if you. Does want she me to, accuse you of sleeping with her? Yes, yeah, it's basically. You might as well say it. I've never said you're sleeping it's, with my daughter. Y'all just made me look so bad on the show. <laughs> I think you're doing a really good job all by yourself. I don't like when people come out in these cheating stories mm -hmm. when somebody says, I'm not taking one. I'm going to accuse you, and I'm going to accuse you, but I'm not taking one. OK. Nautica, you came here and took a lot to tuck the test. And we asked you, have you ever had sexual intercourse with Wayne? You answered no. Have you ever had sexual contact with Wayne? You answered no. Results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Nautica told the truth. Wayne, you took a lie detector test. Uh, we asked you, did you ever have sexual intercourse with Nautica? You answered no. Did you ever have sexual contact with Nautica? You answered no. Since being in a relationship with Jennifer, have you ever had sexual intercourse with any other woman? You answered no. Since being in a relationship with Jennifer, have you had sexual contact with any other woman? You answered no. Your results came back all the same, and it came back that Wayne told the truth. From once we leave this stage, that message will never come out of your Peace. mouth toward me and or her. Or you gotta go. Yeah. Period. Yeah. You gotta go. You know, ho hopefully you well, get peace like and you go back home and it does stop. I don't know if it will. I normally don't do this with the cheating story because nobody's really committing a crime or abusing children. But, you know, with you, why don't you get the hell off my stage? I don't like you. I don't know. Even with all these results, Wayne, I think you need to go home and really think about the situation that you're in, OK? Yes. Good luck to you. Thanks, nice man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.